Hi everyone, I'm Charlene Habermeyer of Good Parenting Brighter Children, and this is Tidbits of Wisdom for Parents. Today I want to talk to you about grandparenting in terms of passing down your interests, your hobbies, down to another generation and making it become a legacy. Now, think about your grandparents. Did they teach you how to do anything? My grandmothers taught me how to knit. They also taught me how to crochet. My paternal grandmother had a love for books and a love for learning, and I wanted to be just like her. I wanted to read, I wanted to learn, I wanted to study. What I thought was so poignant was when she died, um, she died in her home, and they found her, and she was crumpled over, and she had a book in her hand. And I remember thinking to myself, that's how I want to die. I want to die with a book in my hand. So grandparents can have an Im incredible impact on their children, and they can pass down the things that are grand their grandchildren, rather, and they can pass down those things they love to their grandchildren. Today I want to talk about someone specific, Dodie Polson. She's from Paulsbo, Washington. She has two children, several grandchildren, and she has passed down to each one of her grandchildren her love of sewing and quilting. So what she does is uh, <clears throat> she, was, she is a professional seamstress, seamstress and quilter. And she said that she learned all of this stuff from her nana, as she called her, her grandmother. It was her paternal grandmother, and she lived just down the street from her. And her grandmother had such a love <clears throat> for quilting and sewing and and all of those things that she taught Dodie everything. And so Dodie, when she went to college, she graduated in fabric design, and now she has designed fabrics for uh, major fabric companies. She travels all over the world teaching various people about quilting, and she's been in a number of quilting magazines and so forth. And she wants this to be passed down to not only her daughter, who she has passed these talents down to, but also to her grandchildren. So here are some of the things that she does. You can go on my blog about in the grandparenting section, and you can read more about the different things that she does. You can see pictures of her grandchildren. But they're extremely important to her. So... Christmas time is a big time, and she makes a Christmas stocking. When each one of her grandchildren are born, she makes them a Christmas stocking. And by the way, all of the, th the things that I'm telling you about, she is now teaching her grandchildren how to sew, how to knit, how to crochet, and how to quilt. She also makes Christmas ornaments. Every year, each one of her grandchildren, they get a new Christmas ornament to put on the tree. Now, yes, you can go out and buy them, and those are wonderful, but when you actually make them, then that is going to become something that your grandchildren are going to treasure and cherish their entire lives. She also makes Christmas pillowcases so that and every year she sends uh, her grandchildren their Christmas pillowcase because she wants them to have wonderful sweet dreams throughout the month of December. She's also taught her granddaughters how to make these pillowcases because making a pillowcase is pretty easy. There's three seams to do it and lots of colorful and wonderful fabrics. She's also taught them how to make pixie bags because she said all granddaughters love to have little treasures and little tiny things that they can keep inside a bag. She's made more masculine pixie bags for her grandsons so that they can put their little treasures inside them as well. And she makes beautiful advent calendars, and those are a lot more work. So she's taught her granddaughters <clears throat> how to piece them all together, how to make them. In the process, she's also taught them a lot of math concepts, because in sewing there is a lot of measuring, and there is a lot of math concepts. As a result, her grandchildren are better at math because they've had a grandmother who has taught them through example and through hands-on activities exactly how to do this. I want to leave you with this thought. This is Daniel Goldman. He's the author of Emotional Intelligences, and he tells us in this quote just how important relationships are. He said, every person-to-person -person interaction shapes the human brain, and the more important the relationship, the more profound the effect on brain development. Think about that for a minute. The more important the relationship, and there is nothing more important than that grandparent-grandchild relationship. It's a different relationship than a parent-child relationship, but it is profoundly important. Be that grandparent that your, your grandchildren need. Spend time with them. Share your talents and abilities, and turn your talents and your interests in a into a legacy in your home and family. Thank you for being here. I'll see you tomorrow.